when I think about dying, I think about children. And when I think about children, I think about you. And when I think about you. For my youth, and when I think of my youth, I think of my freedom. And when I think of my freedom, I feel so alone. And when I feel lonely, I want you to hold me, hold me in your arms. Sleeping, sleeping like a baby all through the night. And then I think of the night and I feel like weeping, weeping for my life. And there's Mitchell. Warm welcome. I love that song so much. It's one of my, I have to tell you, it's one of my favourite songs of the year. Oh, well, thank you. That means a lot coming well, from you. <laughs> well, it's just beautiful. <laughs> and it's such a, such a lovely, pleasant surprise because you're going through this new album. I think there's about 15 songs or so on this new album. X-O-E. That's it. And... Some of the songs are re-recordings and some are new. And I think that's a new one. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, that's one of the new ones. Because there's a little kind of clue in all this, because in the middle of it, you open up this lovely gatefold sleeve, there's a picture of you, I think, expecting what turns out to be your first daughter. Is that right? That's right. I think I was probably five months pregnant when that photo was taken and then maybe six or seven when we did the recording. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful photograph, by the way. Oh, thanks. And I'm, I'm guessing she's a beautiful baby. She is. She's uh, Ramona is her name. She's 15 months old. She's rolling around in a van with us now. <laughs> yeah, no, we're. And was we're that a pregnancy song? I, I think I was. I wasn't pregnant yet when I wrote it. I was, uh, but I was obviously. It was on my Thinking mind. Thinking about children. Yeah. Yes, yeah, funny. I mean, I know you write songs too, and how sometimes a song will come true if you put something out there, yeah. and then it manifests. What a beautiful song. The beautiful connections to it, and 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 it just kind of. It rolls, and, and you can almost hear your thought process in in that rolling process. And it reminds me of other songs that you've done, like one of my favourites from Young Man in America, which is Taylor, where you almost feel that you're listening to your thought process. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, that's cool to hear that from you. I think songs are funny in that way that they can be linear and tell a story, but they also they repeat themselves, and that's kind of how we think, you know? Yes, exactly. And of back. course, that's the lovely thing about music, isn't it? I mean, I often think that about songs compared to poems and compared to prose, that we can have a, a tune that goes with it, and we can just sing a line again if we feel like it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lovely idea. You've said it's a, the album is X Away, which is how you sign your letters, and Dear Audience, Thank You For Everything, it's subtitles. That's a lovely idea. <laughs> Tell me Thank about you. the thinking behind the record. There's a lot of tracks on it, and most of them are not new. There are a lot of re-recordings of really old songs of mine, and then some stuff like from my Hades Town opera that 
um, I had guest singers singing on the album, so I never really got to record my own version of them. And then some new stuff. And uh, I sort of had always wanted to go in the studio and make a completely solo recording, you know, just voice and guitar. And it seemed like a, a nice time to do it. You know, I was having a baby and I was sort of looking back, looking forward. I mean, how many years does this album span in terms of the songwriting? Yeah, 10 years. 10 years. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Right. Well, it's a beautiful testimony to the work you've been doing. Let's, for people who don't know, um, you're talking about these collaborative projects. And the, and the one that I think I came in on was, was Hades Town, which is an enormous project. I mean, it just seemed hugely ambitious and wonderful as well. Tell me a little bit about that project and, and how that came about and you know, what it's done for you. Well, it's been a long, you know, such a long, an epic project. It started <laughs> as far back as like 2005 or six. I started to write the songs for this. It was a song cycle based on the Orpheus myth and set in a post-apocalyptic depression era, sort of a company town called Hadestown. And, and at first, I put it on with just a bunch of friends of mine in um, Vermont, the state I'm from. Just this DIY kind of ragtag theater version of the show. And did a couple of drafts of that. And then made a recording which came out in, in 2010. And some amazing people you got involved in that as well. Yeah, it was incredible how it came together. It was, um, it was people from the Low Anthem, is that right? That's right. Ben Knox Miller ben is, sings Miller. the voice of Hermes. And Justin Vernon. Justin Vernon is Orpheus. There's kind of a folk cult hero guy named Greg Brown from Iowa City who sings I wanted Hades. to mention Greg Brown. Now, is Greg Brown the father of Pieta Brown? Exactly, yeah. Well, there you go. You see, that's a lovely little bit of synchronicity because later on in the show... We'll be playing Pieta Brown. <laughs> Perfect. But he's got an amazing voice. He does. And it's really low and raspy. And so, yeah. yeah, subterranean. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what's really interesting is that you've recorded, re-recorded one of the songs from that, and we can hear you singing it. Absolutely. Shall you do it? Let's oh. do it now. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Ricky Ross sitting in for Bob Harris. Delighted to say Anais Mitchell is in session in conversation with me. And here's her version of Why We Build a Wall. <laughs> Should want my 
children, my children, what do we have that they should want? What do we have that they should want? We have a world to work upon. We have work and they have none. And our work is never done. My children, my children, and the war is never won. The enemy is poverty and the wall keeps out. Beautiful, beautiful. Why we build a wall from Anais Mitchell in session. It's ironic that, you know, you're doing that song and here we are 25 years and a week beyond. I suppose we've been watching the stuff on the news about the 25 years since the Berlin Wall coming down. Oh, to be honest, I haven't been watching the news, but... <laughs> <laughs> You've been on tour. You've been busy. You've got a baby. Yeah, but that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And people at different times have asked me about that song and whether I was thinking about a particular wall or a particular time, uh, event in history um, or current event. But it it really was more of a of an archetypal song when I wrote yeah. it. I wasn't... I didn't. There was no specific place in mind, although I think... It applies to yeah. a lot of stuff. And you're on tour at the moment. For people who are just turning the radio on and thinking, well, that's a familiar voice, you are, you should be very at home on this radio station because you did win the BBC Two Radio Folk Awards, didn't you? Yeah. Which was what, a couple right. of years back. It was actually the last one that the came around. The last one round, yeah. yeah. Which was for this um, the child ballads. Yeah. Now... This is a lovely project, and this is with uh, Jefferson Hamer, is that right? Yeah, yep, it's a duet I love record. The, there's, a, there's a lovely um, story that sets this up, because the two of you are travelling in a car, is that right? And you're you're discussing the, the child bar. So tell us a little bit about how that came about. When we first started the project, you yeah. mean? Yeah, well, Jefferson um, is a great traditional player, and also he's a songwriter, but he, he um, backs up other songwriters too. And when we first started playing together, he was playing my songs with me, playing electric guitar and singing harmonies. And, and we just loved singing together, and we sort of discovered that right away. And then we also discovered that we loved these old songs. And um, we had a set of the child ballad books, you know, there's a five-volume set. And we had them in the car with us when we were touring around. And, um, and so we'd work on stuff. Uh, we'd work out, you know, our sort of version of any given ballad in the car, one person with the book on their lap, you know, and the other one driving. Um, that's how we did a lot of our arranging. Brilliant. And then suddenly it became an album at some point. Yeah, it took a long time, but um, we eventually we made a recording with this producer in Nashville, Gary Pachosa, who's the same producer that I made the XOA album with. Yeah. And he's great. He's like uh, really just great at capturing acoustic instruments and, and especially women singers. Um, really? Yeah, he sort of made his name with Alison Krauss. Right. He recorded a lot of her albums and just a wonderful guy. And we stayed at his house. We recorded at his home studio and... So that's where we made the Child Ballads album. And the song was uh, Willie of Winsbury, wasn't it? Right, for the, at, that we played at the BBC Folk Awards. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, Willie of Winsbury. Of all these projects, because now you're talking about you know, going back to doing the Hadestown stuff and you're doing some of these songs on your own. Of that material, I mean, do you do, you do that on your own without Jefferson there? How, how does it work? That's a good question. <laughs> I do a couple of the songs. Like I, I could do Willie Winsbury or yeah. there's a couple I can do. And then some of them, I just, I really miss him. Yeah. <laughs> I miss the other part. And so I don't do very many of them. But what about the business of touring on your own? I mean, how do you find it? Because I mean, I, I've done, sometimes I've done with a band and sometimes I'm at one. The only thing I, I used to find very strange was when you go back to the dressing room and there's no one else there. Yeah. Uh, to talk to and <laughs> it feels I mean, how does how does it feel when you're absolutely on your own does it feel lonely at times? well when i go back to the dressing room there's there's my 15 month old okay. <laughs> child yeah, and my that's... husband <laughs> and there's like crayons all over the floor <laughs> and things like that yeah but sure playing solo it's a it's a funny thing i i love it when it feels good it feels so good because it does um, doesn't it and i think yeah. there's, there's a sense in which you're in a sort of little compact with that audience and they know that you're there for them and exactly you're all in it together somehow aren't yeah you? yeah there's sort of more of a relationship you end up talking more I think yes and I also take requests and stuff when I'm Do playing you? solo sure yeah listen it's lovely to see you you're going to finish with a song 
You know what? I'll do another song which I recorded on the XOA album that's new. And this actually is a song I wrote for the extended theatrical version of Hades Town, which I've been working on for the last like year and a half. Hold on. Just hold that thought a second. You're going to do an extended theatrical version of Hades Town? That's the plan, yes. And is it going to come here? I hope so. I sure hope so. I'd love to see that. Will some of the people involved in the original record come as well? You know, I think we're really going for a, a theater show with actors. I traveled around for quite some time doing the show, like at Union Chapel, mm. as a as a concert. Yeah, and that was really fun, and we and we made a lot of friends, and um, it was it was a great way to present the music. But we sort of have our sights on the the sets and the props and the bodies Fespia in motion. Fespia is calling. It's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anais Mitchell, thank you so much. Thank you. We look forward to whatever happens next. Thanks for having me. Final song is called... Any Way the Wind Blows. If the fire don't Any way the wind blows And there ain't a thing that you can do When the weather takes a turn on you Suffer, hurry up and hit the road Traveling show Any way the wind blows 